Steve. Well, good evening to you, Stephen and Diana. The decision to be made is which one company should be selected to manage the city's towing operations. Now, this is a very lucrative deal, but has one bidder gained a distinct advantage by treating the mayor like a rock star or a king? Known to many as a shrewd businessman, Tony Suave has proven he can also be quite generous, too. That's him with his wife a few years back, helping out at a downtown soup kitchen. And here, just last April, leading a $30 million campaign to expand and improve oncology services at St. John Hospital. But some of his generosity to high-flying Mayor Kilpatrick has never generated a press release because this is a secret Suave and the mayor have worked hard to keep out of the news. We're not talking just about the $52,000 in reported cash campaign contributions linked to Suave, but another little benefit worth a fortune, a benefit Suave has admitted but would like to remain quiet. Have you ever let the mayor ride on your plane? Stop it. Okay, it's my talk job to Fred. I understand. You know, but talk to Fred. But Fred, his PR man, was never authorized to give details, not then and not now, that we've obtained FAA flight records for both Suave jets. And although Passenger names are not required. No fewer than 27 flights match up quite nicely with what we know to be personal trips by the mayor and his family. Remember last January when the Detroit Free Press broke the text message scandal? The mayor was nowhere to be seen until we ultimately found him and his family hiding out at the Tallahassee, Florida home we learned he quietly purchased just last summer. Then, when he finally came back and addressed Detroiters, he said, Last week was the first weekend since I took office in January 2002, that I just put everything aside and focused only on my family. But just how did he and the family flee to Florida? According to this flight record, at almost the exact same time the free press first posted its story on the Internet that Wednesday night, a suave jet like this one was rolled out of its hangar at City Airport, setting a course for a 10 p.m. Tallahassee touchdown a thousand miles away. Then, the next Sunday, when Kilpatrick finally did return to face the music, this flight record shows the other Suave jet took off from Tallahassee, headed for Pontiac, arriving just after 4 p.m. Remember, it was less than an hour later that the mayor was seen returning home to the Manoogian mansion. Now, until May of last year, Tallahassee was never a frequent destination for Suave jets. In fact, they'd been there just once in five years. But just around the time the mayor quietly became a Florida homeowner, the records show at least 19 flights between Detroit and that same Florida city. And the only one earlier, in October 06, it left Detroit headed south on the very morning the mayor gave a luncheon speech at his alma mater in Tallahassee. The next day, the record shows, the jet flew back to Detroit. So why might Suave put himself on the hook for the high cost of satisfying the mayor's wanderlust this way? Sure, it may be chump change to the owner of a $1.6 billion business empire, but now Suave, who's already done business with the city, is after a very big prize. The right to manage towing operations for the city of Detroit. The contract to tow, strip, and scrap cars is a deal worth maybe a few million dollars each year. And his competitors, who all now share in the towing business, they complain that by cozying up to the mayor in a way none of them can, Suave has shrewdly mapped an inside track to take it all over and force them to join his team. And, says law professor Peter Henning, an expert on ethics, it's not a stretch for most folks to reach that same conclusion. Whenever you have uh, like any kind of cozy relationship, uh, gifts, or some type of close friendship, it raises questions about the contract. And so anytime there are questions about the fairness of the process, the public is going to wonder, was there some type of uh, backroom deal being cut, whether in fact one was or not. Well, many are saying tonight it just doesn't pass the smell test. Despite this statement from Suave, it was released through his PR man. He says, a conflict of interest does not exist. The work historically performed for the city of Detroit has been awarded through an open bidding process. Steve, any other evidence as of now besides the airplane, any of these other... I guess you can call them courtesies, have been extended. Uh, you know, uh, ironically, just before we put this story together, I picked up the phone and the voice on the other end says, you know, Suave has also loaned the mayor his yacht, and the mayor's spokesman is not denying that either. He issued a statement about that, and he says it's common for businesses to use their resources to support the needs of the community. This so we got the airplane, we got the yacht. A needy community.